everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. So this is the Stein Key Art Center. Um, so this is actually an art center that I made for my Sims 4 Ant Life Let's Play series. Um, so my main Sim, my aunt, Coral, um, she is an artist and since having to take over responsibility for her two nieces she hasn't really had much of a chance to do much with her art um so i wanted to because now she's kind of started to settle into you know being a mom all of a sudden um so now that she's kind of in that mom mindset i want to focus on her building up her skills and getting back into painting and doing those types of things and maybe talking to some grown-ups every once in a while who perhaps have a common interest with her. Um, so I thought I would make an arts center so she would have a place to maybe have like a club going and they could paint or, I don't know, learn musical instruments. Um, Cause she also does play the guitar sometimes. And yeah, so I built this lot in Windenburg um, because that's where they live. I mean, I know we can like, obviously we go back and forth between all the worlds and it's not a big deal, but um, for the sake of my storytelling, at least in my mind, um, I wanted to build it in Windenburg because since they live in Windenburg, that would probably be a little bit easier for them to get to um, because obviously all the worlds that we have so far in The Sims 4 are very, very different. And so I'd like to kind of put the most similar places together. I don't know. It makes sense in my head. Um, so yes, so this has actually been built on the gym lot in like the more modern coastal part of Windenburg. Um, I originally wanted this to be in the more older downtowny area. Um, but the lots in that part of the town are generally kind of small. Um, I actually did try building this on a 20 by 20 lot originally. I believe this is a 30 by 30, which, you know, it's not like a huge lot. It's not a 64 by 64 lot or anything, but just having like that little bit of extra space made it work so much better. Um, so yes, so I got rid of the gym because really, I don't think we're gonna use it. And even if we were, we could probably just go to like another town and go to their gym because I think I think every town has a gym. Sam Maishuno does. I mean, not like Forgotten Hollow or uh, Newcrest, but Oasis Springs does, Sam Maishuno does, Windenburg by default does, and so does Willow Springs. So really, do we need to have four gyms? Probably not. So, and I know that there is an art center in Sam Maishuno, but I wanted to build something that felt a little bit more tailored to my Sims and their story. Um, so she has the care of her two nieces, who one of whom is a child and the other one is a toddler. So I wanted to kind of build a place where all three of them could go together to hang out and, you know, bond or just work on some of their art skills. Um, so I built a children's room, which actually having that children's um, painting table or drawing table or whatever is actually a requirement for the art center which I did not realize that that for that lot type you have to have like one of those children's drawing easel things on the lot um, which I mean I guess that makes sense because it's an art center so like everybody should be able to do all the art that they want to do um, but it just sort of surprised me because I think that for for the most part there aren't many like lots that have predetermined items that are children specific um so yeah sorry i got distracted there's a bunch of dogs barking outside of my house why does this always happen when i go to film a video there are always dogs barking and sometimes it's mine whoops um so anyways so i wanted to build not only a children's room but also a room that then could be used by toddlers so despite the fact that toddlers can't use the um, drawing tables yet, the other toys in that room are things that they can do. Um, so there's the stuffed animals down there and what else did I put in there? Oh, a toy box. Um, so I wanted it to be where where Kelly and Olive, my two sims from my Ant Life LP, 
Um, I wanted it to be a spot where they could hang out together as sisters while their aunt is maybe painting or, you know, doing some street art or what have you. So, um, yeah, so right now I'm just going through and trying to pick out colors for things. Um, I decided to do this build in more of like a modern style, but like an older modern style. So not super contemporary modern, but maybe like, maybe like more 70s feeling. Um, although a lot of the inside of it has been more renovated. Um, the bar area, which changes in a little bit, the bar area in particular, I thought that the decorations could be a little bit older or the like the the wallpaper that I use um, it's not quite as modern as the rest of it is um, but yeah so the requirements for an art center were a little surprising to me because I didn't realize because actually having a bar and four bar stools was also a requirement which I wasn't really planning on putting a bar in this lot until I saw that that was a required thing. And I was like, all right, we could do that. <laughs> like, I'm not going to say no to putting in a bar because, you know, that that could be fun. Um, so my original thought was that the bar was going to be this huge room upstairs and then there would be a piano. And there, so like the piano would be like the live music provided to the bar. Um, but then I got to thinking like, okay, well, you can only have one instrument really going at a time because more than that, it sort of sounds terrible. I know in The Sims 3 with the nightlife pack, I forget, whatever pack it was that had the downtown area and it also included the ability to make bands, like there was an ability where like you could have drums and then guitar and then singing I think was the other one I don't think they did they have piano I don't know it has been like almost three years since I played the sims 3 so I don't really remember but I do remember that it had the ability to have like one instrument playing one type of music and then another instrument could join in on that same type of music and it would actually sound good together sims 4 doesn't have that so I picked to do just the piano but then eventually I was like, eh, I'd really rather have more than one instrument being able to be played at one time. So I got rid of half of the bar, still kept the bar, but downsized. And then I put in um, practice rooms, like for a music studio. Um, so back downstairs, we are in the painting room now. Um, so because I want Coral to set up like an art club, I decided to make this painting room huge. Um, so there's, 10 easels, which is I, I, probably a little overkill to be perfectly honest with you, but um, especially since we can only have eight Sims at a time. But I was like, you know, that way then if one Sims painting finishes up and then they autonomously go over and start on another painting, then, you know, there's still an extra easel around. Plus, I also sort of figure that maybe some other Sims from the world will just spawn and just start painting as well. Um, I also am secretly kind of hoping, and I know that this trick works on home lots, I don't know if it does on other lots, but if you have a painting club that meets at your house, that you can sell the paintings that are made by the other sims. So it's kind of a sneaky way to get some money in game. It's not like cheating necessarily, but it's also not quite, not really the most ethical thing, but that's okay. Um, so but because Coral, Coral's job is essentially doing her own art. She doesn't really have like a, a technical career and they're starting to get to the point where they might need to look into making a little bit more money um, because they have this nice house with a lot of things in it and chances are once bills hit, they might be in some financial trouble. So I want to kind of get out in front of that and I thought, well, hey, if we do an actual art club where everybody is painting, then maybe she can have them volunteer their paintings to her and she can sell them for a little bit of extra cash. Um, so there are seven easels kind of lined up in a row and then I put another three easels kind of grouped together by that table with the uh, planter with the plants in it. Um, so I wanted that to kind of be like, oh, like a still life area. Um, I know obviously for the most part, Sims are going to be able to actually like create still lives from it. But I sort of thought that was kind of neat. And then I put the little light 
to kind of have um, a little bit more light on that area. I really liked that this room had huge, huge windows and I, so obviously they're not going to autonomously go and start painting what they see outside the window, but especially on this lot position, um, they have like this really nice view of the ocean and you know the other buildings around so like there's a lot for them to look out at the windows um, and then I put down the painting tarp object that came with city living and then I also put down the newspaper that came with the cats and dogs expansion pack which I think is technically supposed to be for like puppies to go pee on but I thought you know a lot of times you put down newspaper like underneath an art project to protect the surface underneath it. So I sort of thought that that could work. Um, so this is the street art room because having those murals was another lot requirement. So again, not necessarily a room I was, you know, going to set out and do, but I thought, all right, well, we can kind of run with this. So I wanted to make the walls kind of as neutral as possible, but then I wanted like the lighting and the decorations to be really colorful um, because street art is typically a little bit more colorful and bright and so I got the um, the paper lanterns in a bunch of different colors which is funny because I've used those before in builds but never in like half the colors that I put in in this build um, but I really like them so I'm gonna have to remember that light and go back to it because you know, like, you find lights sometimes, and once you find a good one, you just keep going back to it. Like, I have I have my favorite lights, for sure, and I'm sure anybody who builds in The Sims 4 probably has their favorites as well. Um, but I like those little paper lanterns, so I'm going to have to remember that. So this is um, the children's room, or the toddler room, whatever. Um, and so for this, I wanted to go with, like, a red and orange and yellowish and white theme um, because I really I like that wall paper I guess is it wallpaper I actually don't really know um, but the wall coloring and so I have basically almost everything in this room is either in red yellow orange or white um, and so I have this huge lineup of the stuffed animals along the side of the wall there and then um, I also put in two toddler friendly bathrooms um, with the little toddler toddler potties and like a sink um, I didn't film any of the bathrooms in this build because aside from the two toddler bathrooms every bathroom is exactly the same like I painted them all with the same wall color the same flooring um, I actually I'm not even sure I'm, I don't know if I put a screenshot of them in or not but I mean they're standard there's like literally nothing special or exciting about them but I did put in a ton of bathrooms. I think there's four bathrooms on the first floor and four on the second floor and then the two toddler bathrooms in the children's room as well. So if your sim has a bladder failure on this lot, then they have a problem because there's absolutely no excuse for that behavior. Um, so I decided to put in, <laughs> this was just some silly fun along the wall, I decided to put in the, I don't know, like. I think he's supposed to be like a transformer or something but obviously it's not transformers because that's like you know branded content that's not owned by the sims um but then i put like the light up butterflies kind of like coming out of his arms so it, i don't know it almost looks like they're wings or like there's some sort of like superpower coming out of him but and then i put the trees next to it so it's just like what is going on over here but it's all in that like red and yellow and orange color scheme and then I put in the string lights from kids room stuff toddler stuff I'm not sure um, but I really like those rope lights I, I actually use them quite a bit um, and then I put in the puppet theater as well so that way then it's you know it's theater so it's still kind of like in that whole creative vein so yeah, so now we're upstairs in the bar area. Um, so originally this bar was was pretty big um, and I put in two of the behind the bar like splashback types of, of objects and I put in a bunch of the tall tables and yeah, after I put in a lot of this, I was like, eh, all right, let's, 
let's scale down the bar. And part of it too was that not only did I not want there to be more than one musical instrument playing at one time, and I still wanted more than one musical instrument, um, I just wasn't quite sure what to do with this much space. Like that's kind of an odd problem to have, but I was like, eh, this isn't a bar specifically, it's an art center. So like the purpose of going here is not to go and sit in the bar. So it doesn't need to be like this big spacious area with like TVs and pub games and all of that. So I was like, I don't really know what else to do. And I thought about putting the dance floor down, but then I was like, I don't know that Sims will be told, hey, you should go use the dance floor. And none of the, the floors matched the flooring that I was using for the room. And I was like, ah. I mean, I do really like these tall, um, like ottomans and couches and things. But aside from that, I was like, I'm not, I don't know. I'm just not feeling this. So I was looking around at the other instruments and I was like, all right, where can I fit in a practice room in this build? So I decided, all right, we're just gonna scooch everything over and wall this off. And so now I have a smaller bar, but it's a much more, much more manageable size, I think. Um, and it, cause it really, it just, it just didn't need to be that big of a room. I actually also put in a closet right next to the door. Um, that's just something I like to have in my builds because it's, it drives me crazy when I see Sims like walking around the world and their outfits look absolutely ridiculous. And even though I know that this is something that has been fixed and worked on, there are just, there's still so many like silly outfits that I see. And especially like, there's a lot of preference for the clothing that came from City Living. And like, I don't mind the clothes, but I'm tired of seeing them. It's like all of the sims that are spawned by my game, they all gravitate towards like the same few items. And so, and I do use MC Command Center. Um, there's a function within that mod, which is a great mod. I highly recommend it. Um, it's a little overwhelming at first, I think, cause there's just, there's just so much to it and there's so much you can do with it, but there is a function within it called dresser where you can, if you see a sim out and about in the world, you can click on them. I recommend pausing your game first, but you can click on them and then say like you can blacklist or whitelist specific items that that sim is wearing. So like if you see a sim walking around and like they're wearing um, the long flowy skirt with like the knots around the waistband that came from City Living. If you have City Living, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about because your sims probably love this skirt. Um, but so you can click on it and say like blacklist this item for either the outfit that they're currently wearing, which is usually every day, or for all items. And then you can, if you see another sim wearing that same outfit, you can click on that sim and say like run dresser or clean dresser. I forget what the command is. I mean, it's, it's all in the mod and, um, there's a lot of people online who are super, super helpful and very knowledgeable when it comes to the mod. So I recommend, if you're interested, I recommend going and seeking that out to figure out how to do this. Um, so anyways, so you can use that, but I also really like just having that closet available so that way that I can change my own Sims outfits or, um, which I know you can do with like a mirror, but I don't know. I just, I like having the closet there and sometimes it will let you change the clothes of other Sims as well. So, um, yeah. So this is just going through and putting in lighting. Um, I decided to do like little candle votives on each of the tables. And then I put those like fancier looking mounted wall lights along the wall. Um, I liked keeping kind of that stacked stone along one of the walls as well, because as I said before, I kind of wanted, I wanted this room in particular to feel like it had not been updated. And like the paneling that I used in the entrance area as well, that like green wall paneling, which I actually really, really like, but it is a little bit of like a dated modern look. Like not truly dated, like not cheap, wood paneling that you would have found in like a basement in the 1980s. It's like higher end wood paneling that you would have found in a luxurious home from the 1970s. 
so I was trying to kind of go with more of like like a little bit of like almost like a dated ski lodge type of vibe on the inside um but yeah so this is now the room with um woodworking because again this was actually another required item like this this build was like so straightforward in telling me what I needed to put in it and I was like all right so you've given me these parameters and I will just make it work from here um so this room I went with as much wood as I possibly could find so basically I went through and I found a lot of items like that were like predominantly wood based so like wooden shelves wooden tables wooden chairs and benches and I just I just decorated this room with a lot of wood um, because I kind of wanted to give it the vibe of this is the room where then they would also kind of keep their old projects um, so like if you've ever taken an art class at like a community center or a rec center a lot of times then for like the rest of that session if you do a project then that project is used as a decoration for that room or somewhere in the building itself um, so that's kind of what I was going with here and then I thought I could use those wooden benches from Outdoor Retreat as um, like the supply for the woodworking projects. I don't know. I, I wasn't really sure honestly at this point what else to do with this room because I had this big space with a lot of woodworking benches and I wanted it to feel woody. But I don't know. I just, this was probably my least favorite room actually. Um, and probably the room that I struggled with the most. Um, and yeah, so I also, I sort of skipped over this before because I was talking about clothes. But I also put in practice rooms for piano, organ, violin, and guitar. So, um, and I did them in like a carpeted flooring with like what I... I'm imagining them to be as like soundproofing on the walls. Um, so, cause I actually, I studied music in college. So I spent a lot of time in practice rooms and they each have like carpeting on the floor and a chair for you to like, I always would like put my extra music that I wasn't using or my instrument case on the chair. Um, because I oftentimes would have to practice standing up and for the guitar and the violin rooms, I also put in a floor to ceiling mirror because that's also something that's usually in a practice room. Um, because if you're trying to stand with the right type of posture, because a lot of times your posture really impacts how you play, then that's an important thing to have so you can see and adjust as you're practicing. Um, and typically they also usually have like an upright piano or something so you can kind of tune yourself against the piano, assuming the piano is in tune, which was sometimes an issue. Um, but I didn't have the room for any pianos and like we have that electric keyboard thing, but that's not the right vibe <laughs> and I, there wasn't really just room for it. So I was like, all right, we'll just, we'll just leave it be with this. So, um, so this is the lobby area and I set it up so that way then there was like a coffee maker like the espresso machine or whatever from get together and then i also put in a popcorn maker and the ice cream maker from cool kitchen so um that way then i figured you know if you're here for a while like i didn't really want to set it up as like like a restaurant or anything because i don't think it would function properly but this way, if your sim gets hungry or they need something to drink and they don't want to go to the bar, there's like a little snack bar here in the entrance area and there's, you know, some benches that they can sort of sit down and chill out on. Um, yeah, so this build did use like just about every pack in the game, which I apologize for because I wasn't really paying much attention to which packs were being used. And then after the fact, like after I had already finished the build and saved it and uploaded it. I looked at how many packs it used and it uses every single expansion, every single game pack, and almost every single stuff pack. I know it doesn't use anything from spooky stuff and maybe one other, but honestly I'm not even sure about that. So oh, I don't think there's anything from Laundry Day. Although, no, I... I think I did put in baskets at one point that might have been from laundry day. I don't remember. Anyways, it uses almost all the packs and 
I mean, obviously, if you don't have all the packs, then you can always try to download it and you just might get replacement items. That's up to you. Um, but yeah, so now I wanted to kind of make the outside feel like, I don't know, like you have all these big windows, like you should be able to look outside and look at something pretty. So I did a lot of landscaping. Um, landscaping in general is something that I'm working on trying to improve. And so I, I decided to leave it in this video, which I don't always leave landscaping in, but I decided to leave it in because that way then I was like, all right, I'm going to hold myself accountable here <laughs> and see my landscaping. And hopefully maybe in like another six months down the road or something, I can look back at this video and think, wow, my landscaping sure has improved a lot from when I filmed this video six months ago. Or maybe not. You never know. Um, but yeah, so I decided to leave the landscaping in and... Um, I tried to make it feel like, like it would feel outside of like a corporate building, but also still very pretty. Um, so there's not tons of flowers. There are some, but there's not like an, it's not like, um, like a romantic garden type of vibe, but I wanted it so that way then every window has something interesting to look out. Um, and I really liked having the fountain like reflecting pools kind of by the entrance area um just because I don't know I thought it looked really nice and that is something that you tend to see an awful lot like outside of like buildings you know like not necessarily like outside of like homes or apartment buildings but outside of like more corporate -y types of buildings or like public buildings you do tend to see a lot of like fountains um and then i don't know i wanted something kind of by the front that was a little quirky so i used the elephant topiaries which i don't know that i've ever used them before but i was like i like elephants they're super cute and i just i don't know i just like them a bunch so i put in elephant topiaries <laughs> And it sort of, I don't know, it just felt like the right type of vibe for, for an art center. Because, like, it's not, it's not trying to take itself too seriously, even though it looks a little bit serious. Um, so, yeah, so now I'm just going through and doing some train painting underneath the flowers, which, honestly, like, that I think is almost more helpful to a build than having good landscaping. Like if you can do some train painting underneath whatever landscaping you are capable of doing to make it feel more realistic, then I think that's like the best thing you can do. Um, so yeah, so this is the Steinkey Arts Center. Um, it's available for download on The Sims 4 Gallery. And as I said before, it does use a lot of packs. So keep that in mind um, as you're going through and looking at it, if you see objects that you don't own, Eh, okay, maybe maybe not this this build for you then. But um, in any case, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It feels like it's been a long time since I've done a speed build, even though it really hasn't been. So this was a lot of fun for me to do. Um, and as I said, I made this for my Ant Life Let's Play series, um, which is just, it is a lot of fun. It's a little chaotic, but it's a lot of fun. So if you wanna watch that, you can find it also on my channel. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, you can hit that subscribe button so you will get all of my videos sent to your subscription box. Yay, so exciting. Um, so yeah, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.